They're as corrupt as they come. They're communists. They're freaking communists. And we worship them. This is what's sad. Way back when, when I was in the 70s, a true capitalist would let a business fail. Okay, understand that capitalism, according to Schumpeter, is that capitalism destroys inefficient companies. So if you suck, the capitalism will wipe you out. You're out of business. So you look at one, not too long ago, there was blockbuster video. Then Netflix came along and they're toast. You know, they're just gone. And so a lot of true capitalists wipes out the inefficient or the obsolete. But for the last so many years, since 1907, really, they've been saving the banks. So the banks are so corrupt. And the reason the Federal Reserve had to come in was to protect the rich bankers. And what they did was they, you know, back in 2008, there was quantitative easing, which is a very complex subject. But basically, the Fed just prints money and gives it to banks okay, to prevent them from failing. So that's not capitalism. That's Marxism. That's socialism. That's communism. It's called central banks. But since most of our school teachers are communists anyway, they don't know the difference. So they can't teach kids that. So what happened in 1971, President Nixon then took the dollar off the gold standard. And so they could print as much money as they wanted to. And in 1972, I was flying behind enemy lines as a Marine pilot, and I went to look for gold. So this here is gold. This is God's money. Gold and silver are God's money. They're parts of the periodic table of elements. So this is real money. And this here is the Zimbabwe dollar. And this is $10 billion. This may as well be the U.S. dollar. So what the Fed is trying to do is print tons of debt, like I think 10 trillion this year, to prevent the banks from failing. So they need inflation because they want to pay back the debt with Zimbabwe dollars. Just think about that. So they can inflate the debt, print 10 trillion, then they print here's a $10 billion. This might have bought you an egg when it was good, a boiled egg. So they could pay off the debt with fake money. So anyway, the reason inflation is going to wipe out people is because the average person is a consumer. So they go, to the, everybody talks about, oh, I went to, you know, T-bone steak is this now and gasoline is this and toilet paper is that and all this. But that's because Biden and company and the Fed are protecting the bankers. Everything to protect the bankers. So that's why I feel for the working class people, I think it's criminal that our school system is part of Marxism. There's no financial education in schools, and it's not a mistake. So I've been saying this since, I don't know, in my first book was, if you want rich and happy, don't go to school. This was long before Rich Dad Poor Dad. But today we can see what's happening. And people are still saying, oh, it's because the container ships aren't being discharged in Long Beach Harbor and all that. And I went to school. I can drive those ships. I have a third mate's license to drive ships and fly planes. But anyway, it's all BS. So the people who are complaining about inflation just know it's because the Federal Reserve Bank, the U.S. Treasury, which is Janet Yellen, who was also head of the Federal Reserve Bank, they're as corrupt as they come. They're communists. They're freaking communists. And we worship them. This is what's sad. Just understand, it goes to this word called collateral or security. You see, this is gold. This is real security. It's God's money. So is silver. And so is Bitcoin due to the blockchain technology. I'm not saying buy any of this stuff. I'm just telling you why I own this. So this is real money. I mean, I can travel anywhere in the world. Its value goes up and down as it's manipulated. And I can spend it. But what this is, the Zimbabwe dollar, is fake money. And the only way this comes into existence is an entrepreneur like me creates an asset. So I go into BlackRock and I say, guess what? I have a startup here. You know, I mean, Tesla or something. And Tesla is now a trillion dollar company. But what happens if GM and, you know, Biden doesn't like Tesla, I can tell. He doesn't recommend them. I'm not in that dogfight. But let's say that GM comes out with an electric car that you can buy for two bucks. Tesla's toast. Do you know what I mean? But so much of the stock market is based upon the valuation of a company like Tesla, or like the earlier thing, you know, Netflix or Blockbuster Video. So much of it, you don't know what's called the counterparty to it. 
the only counterparty to this is God. God made this. And silver, God made this. And um, the Bitcoin is blockchain. That's what gives you know, Ethereum and blockchain. So some people ask me, I'm Satoshi, so I don't speak Japanese. But I don't know anything about blockchain, but I just don't trust this. I don't trust the US dollar. I don't trust the Fed. I don't trust the Treasury. And I don't trust our government. And I don't trust Wall Street. If you do, invest your asset. But what they're doing is they're creating what I call a fake asset. So let's say I go in and say, you know, Sarah, I'm starting this company. And I've been there. They hyped the company. To, oh, this is, yeah. And so really the issue is trust today. This thing here is in God we trust. There's, there's no counterparty risk to it. But there's a lot of counterparty risk to this. And there's a lot of counterparty risk to BlackRock, to the stock market and all this. So that's why, you know, I have John McGregor here because that's what he does. He evaluates how stable is that business they're quoting. Like Tesla is now a trillion dollar company. Is it worth a trillion dollars? I really don't know. But at the last EV conference, Tesla wasn't invited. Ford and GM were. If you don't smell a rat with that, that's a legitimate question. Like this guy named Schumpeter, I don't know when he was cruising around, but he always said capitalism is a destruction of the weak. And as you know, today you cannot destroy a weak company. It's all BS. You know, you gotta be so politically correct. So I personally, I have tremendous respect for Elon Musk. You know, I don't drive a Tesla. I drive the loudest car possible, a Ferrari 458. And this is how sick I am. There's a Ferrari 458 and a 488. The reason I bought the 458 is it makes more noise. <laughs> and all the environmentalists hate men, well, life's out west then, you know. Yeah. It's so politically stupid, that's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. But this here, the reason there's no counterparty risk, this is an element, silver is an element, and Bitcoin is blockchain. There's no counterparty risk, but this is a Zim dollar, it's no difference than a US dollar, or a US stock, or a US bond. And so that's why you don't find me saving dollars, I save gold, silver, Bitcoin. And it could change, you know, I mean, Bitcoin could become obsolete also. But the reason I listen to all the smart young guys is don't give me early warning if something's going to come up. So you got to yeah. pay attention to what YouTube is saying if they don't take them down. But ladies and gentlemen, you've really got to be smarter today. You know, toilet paper is worth more than this. I say this often when I looked up how much is a trillion. If you spent a dollar a minute, it would take you 32,000 years to spend a trillion dollars. 32,000 years. It takes them one minute to print a trillion dollars. So they're coming up with this infrastructure problem and all this. It used to be if you printed, let's say, a million dollars, the GDP rose by million ten. Today you print a million dollars, the GDP only comes up by seven. In other words, we're going further and further in debt. We cannot pay off the debt. And so what they're doing, they print more money hoping to pay off that debt. It just makes the debt bigger and this piece of toilet paper worth less. Our school system is Marxist. They're communists. My family are Marxist. They don't know it. They're good people. But they believe in giving people fish. I believe in teaching people to fish. And the other thing is the Fed is Marxist. So if you understand how communism has infiltrated America, you can be a communist if you want. You can be a Marxist if you want. Your choice. You can wear a mask if you want. But what I don't like is when you get fired if you don't take the jab. That's fascism. And that's what I fight against. You don't want to take the jab? I think it's criminal that they fire you. That's not capitalism. That's fascism. That's Adolf Hitler, Mussolini time. If you want to speak macroeconomics, you always ask who's the counterparty. So in other words, when I borrowed money when I first started out, nobody would lend me money because they don't trust me. I lost a lot of money at the start. You know, Kim and I got one broke and all this stuff. But each mistake we made, we got smarter. We met smarter team members. We met a lot of crooks, like our first CEO, our second CEO, and our third CEO who we met. They're all crooks. They cheat, they lie, they steal. I can't believe it. So Kim and I were in horrible shape because, you know, the first people were, oh, we love Rich Dad. And they're like, stealing as much as they could. The lesson we teach is that Every time you meet a bad partner, you meet a good partner. So most of our 
best partners today came from bad partners. 